On September 10th, 2020, the flooded Sligo Creek overwhelmed its intersection with New Hampshire Avenue, completely stopping traffic for hours. This got a lot of attention. But what happened upstream of New Hampshire Avenue and uphill of Sligo Creek that was very painfully noticed by individual Tacoma Park residents and very much in need of significant and expert investigation? During the heavy rainfall, stormwater runoff poured down from higher elevations, flooding homes at lower elevations. The quantity of stormwater runoff was so great it literally blew open this basement door. Lower elevation property represents a challenge for the city because this type of flooding will happen again elsewhere in the future. A neighbor on the same street shared this view of his basement with the stoic comment that he now had motivation to clean up his basement. These two homes are in the same sub-watershed called Bashir's Run, a group of streams that are now buried in underground pipes. These pipes all converge in the area of the library and community center and from there flow into Sligo Creek. When the buried pipes fill up with stormwater runoff during heavy rainstorms, the runoff backs up into the streets which cause street flooding. Here's another hot spot for flooding in Tacoma Park, near another tributary of Sligo Creek called Tacoma Branch near Elm Avenue. Even though the September 10th flooding in Tacoma Park got so little city attention, it should be an opportunity to learn how to address the increasing intensity of stormwater runoff in Tacoma Park. The Elm Avenue homeowner notes that in spite of massive flooding from the street, his property is protected from damage because of landscape swales in his backyard that absorb some of the stormwater while also carrying off excess stormwater runoff away from his property. He's one of the very few fortunate city residents who can drain off stormwater to a stormwater management pond downhill from the house. The stormwater management pond is on city property and was built using stormwater funds. This is one example where city intervention helps property owners. Other such opportunities need to be explored ASAP. The flooding on our streets is legendary and becoming more damaging and dangerous. Not only is there flooding from the rising of inundated streams, but excessive stormwater runoff from higher elevations is causing flooding far from our streams. Poplar Avenue down the hill from Tacoma Junction is one of the most visibly threatened areas. Wherever there is not adequate stormwater management, the situation can be ugly. Here, downhill from the Tacoma Metro Station parking lot, stormwater runoff often flows onto nearby homeowner property and from there spills onto adjacent properties. This is happening all over Tacoma Park today as the Tacoma Stormwater Solution Survey demonstrates. Stormwater runoff flowing between neighbors' properties is a very significant problem. The damage from this cross-property flow can be significant as we saw dramatically during the September 10th storm. Tacoma Park is responsible for managing its stormwater runoff. With comprehensive and expert planning, these flooding situations can be remedied, but it will take a number of years. There are examples of communities who have used their stormwater funds to both comply with federal regulations, positively contribute to climate change challenges, and improve their community quality of life. Stormwater doesn't respect property lines, so we need to work together as residents and the city to develop a strategic plan to solve this problem comprehensively for everyone.